Hello everyone, in this lecture today I am going to talk to you about what is cake pathway analysis, how to perform cake pathway analysis using freely available online tool, and how to do the interpretation of the data of cake pathway analysis as shown here in this graph. So the first, what is cake pathway analysis? KEG or KEGG, it stands for Kyoto Encyclopedia of Genes and Genomes. In CAG pathway analysis, we compare list of genes with the CAG, CAG pathway database to examine associated pathways. So basically, we will have a list of genes like ABC, this is the list of genes, and we compare this list of genes with the database, the database is called CAG, and we try to find out what pathways are associated with this list of genes. Okay, so in CAG pathway analysis, list of genes are compared with CAG pathway database to examine associated pathways. One of the freely available online tools for CAG pathway analysis is Shiny GO 0.77. This tool is accessible online under the website mentioned here, the link for which has also been provided in the description of this video. So regarding the interpretation of cake pathway analysis, I will get back to you later. So when you access the website, this the, the website that I have provided in the description, and then this kind of window will pop up. Then what you have to do, then you have to select or search your species here, okay? So in my example, I'm going to take the list of genes from human, therefore I'm going to select human. And then the next thing is here in this part, you have to paste a list of genes and click submit. So most of the gene IDs are accepted and you have to double, double check the guest spaces and adjust if needed if you don't provide here species name. Okay, so now I'm going to paste, paste the list of genes, simply the gene IDs. So I'm going to select the demo genes to show you an example. Okay, so here we have FTR cutoff, so you can adjust these cutoff values. The FTR cutoff value is 0 0.05 and how many pathways you want to show. Here it has been shown 20, but let's say that I want to show only 10, okay, 10 pathways. So then you can click on 10. So, but if you want to show like more pathways, of course, you can select even higher number. Then the next thing is after clicking on show pathways, here pathway size 2 to 2000, this you can also adjust. And afterwards, so after putting all these parameters here, what you can do, you can click on submit. Okay, so click on submit. So then after submitting, after some time, you will see that this will show you 10 pathways that are associated with the list of this gene. Remember that here in the pathway database, keg has been selected as default but you can also change if you are comparing with other database, okay? So now you can see that we have here the pathway genes here in the homologous recombination, we have 41, in the, uh, in the P53 signaling, we have 73 and so on, right? So these are the pathway genes. And here is the fold enrichment. So with pathways are enriched uh, that have been shown here, especially associated with the list of genes that we have provided. Okay, this is what we get. And the next thing is, this is uh, the p-value, you see, in terms of the power minus 11, minus 12, minus 16, minus 17, and so on. So now, we can also click on the chart, because this view is a table view, but if you want to view it as a chart, then you can click on chart, and you can see that here, the nice chart has been provided, so homologous recombination, p53 pathway signaling, bladder cancer cell, cycle and it's etc and so on so basically blue is red less p value whereas uh, red is more p value okay so these so basically here you can see the different pathways such as homologous recombination p53 signaling pathway bladder cancer pathway uh, associated with the list of genes that we provided of course you can also change the graph type so for that you just need to uh, go down and you can make it to for example dot plot if you want you see here we have now dot plot 
If you want another plot, you can also do a lollipop. But for the purpose of demonstration, I'm going to keep it as bar plot. Okay. And of course, you can adjust the font size. If you want this font size to be bigger, you can just increase them. You can increase the font size. You can also increase uh, the color, you know, high red and color blue is low. So this also you can change whichever color you like. Okay. So now how to interpret, inter interpret this? So basically this, when we submitted this list of genes, we got this chart. That means that these pathways are enriched. Okay. These pathways, omega sugar combination, P53 signaling pathway, bladder cancer pathway, and so on are enriched. Okay. In, in our set of experiment. Okay. So then if you want to visualize them as a tree, then of course you can click on tree and you can see that now we have 10 different pathways shown here and we have visualized them as a tree. If you want to visualize them as the network, you can click on network and you can nicely see that we have now this, this, this 10 different pathway as a network. And of course, you can click on CAG, but it takes some time. So basically here, the uh, genes will be highlighted in red. And so this downloading sometimes takes up to three minutes of time. So during that time, we can click on genes and to what are the genes associated. So you can see that these are the different genes that are associated. Of course, we can click on plots and we can visualize different kinds of plots. Okay, so you can see here a density plot and bar plot also we can uh, visualize that and in genome so if you want to find out where in the genome this particular gene is present so you can click on genome and then which chromosome and what is the location that will be highlighted and if you want to know the promoter sequence actually then you just can click on promoter and you can see that what are the promoter that are enriched you know these are the different promoters that are enriched and this is for string okay if you want to visualize the string then of course you will also get the string but this might take some time so now if we go back to keg you can see that now a significant keg pathway diagram with our genes that have been highlighted okay but i think as a beginner for you most important would be the chart and so like showing this you know so this list of genes are associated with this pathways and these pathways are enriched. That's what it's, it tells us. Okay. I hope.